In a world populated with Legos, video games, movies, and more, Chris Chan has certain hobbies and toys which are held in high regard. But chief among these is Sonichu, the electric hedgehog Pokemon. Since his creation in March 2000, Sonichu has held a special place in Chris's heart. Nothing could change this perception, and the one peculiar thing that inspired anger within is when others would critique Sonichu, as is the case for the ED trolls. Worse, should one claim ownership of the Electric Hedgehog Pokemon and question Chris's copyright, they were certain to incur their wrath. This is Jimmy Hill. It is September 2008, and Chris is 26 years old. At this time, when he was in an online relationship with Blanca Weiss, he released an update on September 11th. Immediately after explaining the situation with his leaked nudes, Chris mentions that he has noticed a Sonichu advertisement in a comic book, indicating that he hasn't authorized such advertisement, let alone distribution of Sonichu-related media. He urges his fans to boycott this merchandise before urging his fans to not go on Encyclopedia Dramatica. The aforementioned advertisement was one of many that were displayed in a series of images released between late September and October 21st, 2008. One of the more prominent advertisements showed a Sonichu die-cast figurine that was being sold for £60 and read, quote, For Sonichu fans across Europe, the wait is nearly over. If you haven't yet heard of Sonichu, where have you been? The funkiest, sassiest, coolest electric Pokemon Hedgehog is coming to a store near you. Be prepared for the biggest toy phenomenon since Pokemon itself. Adventures with your favorite characters from the world are just around the corner. Collect them all, Sonichu, Rosichu, and Blake. Sonichu and all related characters are the original creation of JWTH Limited. Copyright 2008, all rights reserved. This same advertisement apparently appeared in a comic book next to a Dennis the Menace comic. JWTH is an abbreviation for James William Thomas Hill, better known as Jimmy Hill. Assuming the identity of the English footballer and host of the BBC show Match of the Day, the troll Jimmy Hill made the claim that he himself created Sonichu. According to one of the news screenshots from October 15, 2008, one shows an interview with Jimmy Hill. According to this, he was convicted and sentenced to two years in prison for fraud and breach of copyright in 2003. Hill spent his two years in prison building upon Sonichu and his world. He mentions running into trouble with religious groups for creating an openly gay character, Sonichu. He argues that it shouldn't be an issue and that the issue of a character's sexual orientation is ridiculous. He admitted to going to prison due to ripping off Warner Brothers' characters and how he is striving to restore the integrity of his brand. He even mentions having numerous merchandise ideas ready to unveil, including comic books, medallions, an animated TV series, and toys. He ends the interview by providing advice to fans, telling them to be creative, not to rip off characters, take the time to develop characters and settings. He tells them that by ripping off characters, that will lead to them being found out and punished. As a side note, according to Hill's Sonichu website, the copyright date for Sonichu is from February 17, 2000, predating Chris's creation of Sonichu in March 2000. On September 13, 2008, Chris addresses the knockoff toys appearing in the United Kingdom, calling them fake and reaffirming that he has not approved any distribution of Sonichu merchandise. He then mentions Jimmy Hill, calling him, quote, Jerry Hill, saying that he received that name from a fan. He mentions the story about Hill selling false Warner Brothers merchandise and how he was arrested, indicating that he may definitely be behind the fake merchandise. He tells his fans to not purchase it, but to boycott it instead. On October 13, 2008, Chris devotes a significant portion of his update video to Jimmy Hill. After referring to him with a faux English accent, Chris talks about how Hill has perpetrated the rights of Sonichu 
then reassures his viewers that they know that he, Chris Chan, is the actual creator and not Jimmy Hill. Referring to Hill as an imposter, Chris states that he is copying his work verbatim, proving this point with the magazine advert for the European Sonic 2 action figure. Holding it up, Chris argues that it's just a custom painted Sonic the Hedgehog and saying that he could do the same thing with acrylic paint. He insults the figure, calling it simple and crappy. He moves on to address the Sonichu website, saying that Hill's logo is a mockery, crappy, and stupid. He also shows viewers Hill's rendition of the Sonichu Zero comic book cover, saying that he ripped it off and that Hill parodied himself on Monty Python's Flying Circus. Chris then shows viewers the DVD Hill made. He says that he told the audience about the footage that is on YouTube, and that Hill blatantly ripped off his DVD and overdubbed Chris's voice replacing Christian Weston Chandler with Jimmy Hill. He points out a tidbit about how Jimmy Hill is played by an actor, prompting Chris to tell viewers to not buy anything from Jimmy Hill, calling him a fraud and a phony. He then makes sure that his viewers are aware of the first two original Sonic 2 site logos in an attempt to prove his point that Hill plagiarized his work fully. On October 15th, two developments took place. First concerns Jimmy Hill. Hill provided the following update on his Sonichu site. Quote, The popularity of Sonichu keeps going up and up. Check the latest newspaper appearances here, here, and here. Also, sales of the official life story of Jimmy Hill are going strong. Here's a look at the DVD cover. And check out how much room they are taking up on the shelves compared to lesser movies. Link. Finally, work is soon to be underway on the official Sonichu game. Sonichu's Love Quest. It will only be available on Sonichu's favorite console, the Xbox 360. Keep your eyes out in stores next year! A video commercial entitled Sonichu Commercial No. 2 was released shortly after the game was supposedly released. The second development concerns Chris. Chris released a blog post where he mentioned Sonichu No. 10 and how he received his powers from his ring. Then he typed the following. Quote, and just a huge reminder, Jimmy Hill is a thief and an imposter. Do not buy his imposter Sonichu crap. On October 21st, Chris releases an update video where he announces that Blanca and him broke up. Chris mentions how Panda Halo is assisting him with his struggle against Jimmy Hill, telling viewers yet again not to buy anything from the quote-unquote bastard imposter, because he did the same thing to Warner Brothers, he explains. And Chris says that Hill deserves to be imprisoned, calling on his fans to make sure that he's put in jail. On this same day, Jimmy Hill presents an update on the Sonichu website. Quote, We are proud to announce that the amazingly talented Hand Ray underscore Killer 827 Productions team are working flat out to produce the official Sonichu animated TV series. Check out these screenshots. The screenshots depict Hill's comic book version dressed in Chris's attire, and medallion along with Sonichu, wearing a spiked black leather cap and bandolier, as well as a jerk bar named Chris Chu. Hill continues the update. A devoted young Sonichu fan, Killer Cock, recently sent an excellent piece of fan art to the JWTH Limited Head Office. Jimmy was so impressed that he personally signed it and returned it for a small administrative fee. Thanks for all of the support from the massive and devoted Sonichu fan base. There is a side note that indicates the fee amounting to $190, stating that they are not a charity organization. Currently, the Jimmy Hill Sonichu site depicts Sonichu in a black leather band leering cap, sporting stereotypical slanted eyes, a Fu Manchu, and wielding the Chinese flag. Below the logo and below the merchandise about and contact links, there is an announcement. Quote, Welcome, Sonichu fans! Win a trip to China! The official Sonichu fan art contest. A lot of worried and confused young men email us at JWTH Limited asking for advice from Sonichu on how they should stay straight. They are very confused. We have discovered that the best cure for immoral and unhealthy thoughts is to be found in the ancient wisdom of the Far East. Traditional Chinese medicine offers a range of different herbal remedies for people having impure thoughts about others of the same gender, a condition known as latent AIDS. If this sounds like you, then today is your lucky day. 
One lucky winner will get a whole face full of China when they travel to the country itself, courtesy of JWTH Limited. If you think that surrounding yourself in China is the answer to your problems, then get working on your entry. The best submissions will be displayed here. Email your submissions to jwth.ltd at gmail.com. Terms and Conditions the official Sonic True Fan Art Contest is open to all entries, but only people already resident and situated in China qualify for the main prize. Competition ends in a few weeks. In the merchandise section, there is a Sonic True bra for sale for £49, a Sonic True mobile car at £79, as well as Sonic True, Rosa Chu, and Blake action figures for £59 each. Under the About section, it says, quote, no one knows when Sonarchu was born or where he came from. His first heroic adventure came when he defeated the evil man-child Chris Chu. The corrupt and selfish Chris Chu spent many years gaining the trust of the fair maiden Megan. He lied, and he cheated, and he deceived. One day, when Princess Megan and Chris Chu were alone in her castle, Chris Chu pinned Megan to the wall and awkwardly tried to steal her innocence. Sonarchu heard the screams for help coming from the castle and leapt into action. Using the powers granted unto him by the Holy Dean Mary, Sanochu wrestled the lumbering man child to the ground and held him down, allowing Princess Megan to escape. Curse you, Sanochu, cried the bloated spurk beast. Curse you and all the other jerks making my life hell. Since then, Sanochu and the gang have maintained a constant vigil against the warped and merciless Chris Chu. Who knows where Chris Chu will attack next using his mysterious medallion of tarred rage. When he's not fighting the evil Chris Chu, Sanochu loves nothing more than hanging out with his boyfriend Blake and his best friend Rosa Chu. They love techno nightclubs and dressing up in the most fabulous outfits they can find. Hill even appears on the last page of Operation Grand Theft Metal in Sanochu No. 10. When Chris transforms into Chris Chan Sanochu and attempts to blast Beale into the Four Cent building, Jimmy Hill is hit by the beam, losing his teeth. Bugs Bunny appears to tell Hill that he deserved it as a punishment for theft, and Chris includes a note stating that, quote, Jimmy Hill is an imposter and a thief. Do not buy his false merchandise. In an IRC chat from October 24, 2008 involving Chris, Panda Halo, and an assortment of trolls, Chris refers to Hill as a wabbit thief, expresses his desire to kick his teeth in and do the same to Ricky Ricardo 123, one of the trolls behind Blanca Weiss. Panda Halo also states that they hope someone cuts off Hill's penis, to which Chris adds, I hope he loses his duck. On October 31st, 2008, a sign is placed outside the Chandler household. Placed on the front lawn, a colorful sign reads out, quote, Encyclopedia Dramatica loves Jimmy Hill. There was no mention of Jimmy Hill by Chris until a mumble chat on February 4, 2009 involving Chris, Clyde Cash, Jack Thaddeus, and the Miscreants. When Clyde Cash mentions Chris's obvious interest in Monty Python's Flying Circus and how Chris can't help but reference it, Chris explains that after the series was placed on the PSN, he downloaded the Hamlet episode that he says contains Jimmy Hill parodying himself. Then a troll asks Chris what happened to Jimmy Hill to which Chris responds that he hasn't heard about him in a while, and he assumes that Hill gave up, prompting Jack Thaddeus to respond and tell Chris that Hill has a children's TV program in England. Chris shrugs it off and says that if Hill isn't bothering him, then it's not of his concern. Thaddeus follows by telling Chris that Hill has still stolen Sonichu's likeness, and is according to him, bastardizing it. Chris seems indifferent, explaining that he hasn't seen any updates, prompting trolls to say that Hill is still plagiarizing Sonichu. Although there was no verbal mention of Jimmy Hill after that mumble chat, the last known mention of him takes place in September 2009. The sign that was placed on Chris's lawn back in Halloween appeared in a video that Chris uploaded on September 6th. Chris destroys the sign on camera, ripping it in half and stabbing the paper with the wooden stakes as a means of threatening Vivian G for her actions and videos dealing with him, telling her that he will do to her what he did to the sign. 